Land development experts the world over are turning to UAV surveying to keep up with the fast-moving industry. And Carlson, Briggins, and Doring are getting in on the action. The Austin area firm, with more than three decades of experience, has been tasked with completing a boundary line survey on the banks of the Colorado River. It's a task that won't prove as simple as it sounds. Wind, water, foliage, and more all present challenges to be dealt with. Wind can make flying drones difficult, foliage can impact the quality of the data collected, and the topography overall makes this job a tall order. With micro drone solutions on hand, can CBD come through on time, within budget, and with outstanding results? Let's find out. It's time for Down to Earth. CBD is an acronym for Carlson Brigance and Deering. We're an engineering and surveying company. We also do construction admin, contract administration, and of course GIS, and now we've added the drone footage. Our main turnkey operation is taking these large tracts of land and turning them into single family development. We are outside of Bastrop, Texas, along the Colorado Riverbank, and what we're gonna be doing is, the project itself is for a tidal survey, and we have to determine where the property boundary is, which is going back to the 18, late 1800s is the low bank of the Colorado River. There was a survey done a while back, but there's been quite a bit of change happening along the river, and so we know that the property line is at the low bank. We're using the micro drones to set that boundary and make sure we get as much data as possible so we don't miss anything. Laura is my main pilot. We started off with Laura, she was hired for our GIS department. She's a college graduate. She came on board with our drone, started flying projects for us, and then you know, once I got on board with the micro drones, then it was a simple, hey, Laura, do you want to do this? And her enthusiasm was, heck yes. I'm all about it, let's do this. She was on board 100%, and her role is essentially a one-man crew that could replace two or three survey crews as far as flying the LiDAR topographic data with the micro drone. this keypad to connect and I already have the northing, easting and the elevation put into it so I just have to load the job and then start the survey. Okay so I started it and this runs the entire time that we're flying the drone and then at the post-processing we'll take the TO4 file from the base station and then the TO4 file from the drone put them together so it corrects with a known point on earth. With CBD being in the South Texas area, there's a lot of rough terrain, hills, creeks, riverbeds. A traditional survey team would take days to survey that type of terrain. The MD LiDAR 1000 technology is gonna really reduce the amount of time in the field that a traditional survey crew would have on a project like this. The final deliverable will be a completed boundary survey, uh, topographic as well, with the high and low bank. Collecting the LiDAR data will allow us to generate these high banks, low banks, edge of water, and any of the other you know, terrain situations that we're having to deal with in order to create a boundary. The wind this morning wasn't too bad, but now that we're later in the day, uh, the wind is about 33 miles per hour. Uh, I'm usually comfortable flying around 15 to 20, but I think it might be a little bit out of my comfort zone and uh, not the best for safety reasons. So I'll continue setting up the drone in the hopes that it dies down, but we'll just wait and see. With the weather the way it is, you know, we just started picking up with wind gusts, so we're gonna be running into that. I think as the day goes on and the heat starts to progress, we're gonna start seeing more and more wind. I'm gonna go ahead and pack up the drone. It's way too windy today. So we will come back tomorrow morning and hope that the weather is better. It is gonna put us behind, but if we get out here early enough tomorrow, I think we'll be able to make up for that lost time. 